Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs and I'm here today to share with you guys some amazing products that I received from Deco Art. Um, as I, most of you guys might have heard um, in my last video, I mentioned that I was waiting on some products from them because I was wanted to do some acrylic pours which is something that um, myself as well as Asone Crafts we had tried to do before um, but we were lacking some of the <clears throat> proper products um, in order to do the pours correctly um, the outcomes of what we created was beautiful but we wanted to do a more um, let's say quote unquote professional uh, looking kind of job so I contacted uh, Deco Art and they were so gracious and so generous um, to send me some products that I'm going to share with you guys today. Um, and yes, I'm so super, super excited about this. So, first thing on the list is their pouring medium, you guys. Yes. Um, this is uh, comparable, and I, I don't want to say it's comparable in product because I've never tried the flow trial because I know that it is latex based. Um, and unfortunately in my household we can't use nothing that is latex um, so that's a reason why I didn't I wasn't able to do um, you know like I said a more professional looking uh, you know uh, acrylic pour so um, I was so super excited when I saw the deco art uh, brought to the market their own pouring medium yes um, because I was um, testing with some of their other products to see if I could get something that was uh, more or less similar But I was unable to achieve the same effects or the effects that I wanted I should say um, So I'm really really excited about using this product um, And this is an additive for paint pouring. This is specifically for that um, And I got the 64 ounce because since we are beginners I'm not sure exactly how many mistakes we're going to be doing um, but I can assume that there will be mistakes along the way I'm super super excited to be bringing this to you guys because um, this is just something that I is it wows me I am so in love with just the outcome of just the versatility the the, the variety just the so many levels of different things that you can do with acrylic pouring um, so I'm super excited to try this if you're interested in purchasing this item you can go to decoart.com I will leave a link to their shop down below and I will also leave the item number so that if you're looking to search for it now the item number that I'm going to give you is for the 64 fluid ounce but if you look for pouring medium on their site then you will be able to find it their prices are really really good you guys um, for these for, for the pouring medium the price is really really good and really reasonable so definitely make sure that if you're looking for this and you can find it in your local craft stores or if you can find it, um, you know, an online store like say Amazon or something like that, that you can definitely go and check them out at decoart.com. Okay. So uh, the item number for this is D as in David, S as in Sam, 135. Okay. Um, and it says creative, rich, vibrant paint pour with this fluid pouring medium. It thins the paint to the ideal consistency. Uh, and it also has uh, the ability to create cells. So, OMG, I am so, so looking forward to it. I, I'm, like, obsessed with the idea of doing this. Honestly, you guys, I've been wanting to do this for so, so long. And it also reduces cracking because, as you guys know, when you do acrylic pores or if you guys have seen them, um, you know, you're using a lot, a lot of paint. Um, and when you're using such a high volume of paint, and it dries um, and you're not using the right kind of materials or the right kind of mediums let's say or additives to work with such a high quality um, high dosage of paint as it dries it can crack so this is supposed to reduce the cracking or eliminate the cracking altogether so I'm really excited about that um, and it pretty much gives you the directions as far as how to mix it and the ratios and everything like that so all the information that you need is going to be right on that label so again make sure if you want to check this product out they have it in different sizes I know that they had a, a 8 ounce and they had um, a 16 ounce and the 64 ounce I'm not sure if they had anything larger than the 16 but I know that they had the 8, the 16 and the 64 so this is about a half a gallon you guys this is more than enough for what you need um, and definitely to get yourself started and going so super super excited about this guys oh my goodness we're going to have so much fun and you guys know i love to get my hands dirty with paint so i'm super super excited the other item that i ordered um is also the clear pouring top coat 
um, this is a high gloss clear acrylic um, top coat so what that means is that once your painting is done and it has dried thoroughly then you can apply this top coat as a sealer to protect um, and pretty much give your creation archival quality and allow it to last for years and years and years to come without fading uh, so on and so forth so pretty much it says create a high-end finish with this one-step pouring top coat it dries to a lacquer like high gloss finish and it's ideal for canvases wood panels and other flat surfaces then it gives you directions as far as um, how to use it and so on and so forth the item number for this again is DS134 okay and I'll have all this information down below and again this is also something you can um, get from them in various sizes okay so the next thing that we have are going to be some of the larger paints that I received from them and this is going to be uh, from the Americana line a uh, premium acrylic paint and the color is bubblegum and I got it in a 16 ounce and the item number for this is DA250 you guys DA250 so be, be sure if you're looking for something as large as this and you can find it in your craft stores then you definitely go and check out decoart.com for all of your acrylic needs <laughs> um, let's see here all right the other one from their Americana line is true red and again this is a premium acrylic paint the item number for this is DA129 and pretty much you know the basics the basic information as far as acrylic paints goes is right on the side let's see if I got any more from the Americana okay from the Americana line I also got dark chocolate loving this color and the item number for this is DA065 and again these are all 16 ounces what I'm sharing with you guys right now okay I also have peacock teal love this color as well and these two colors together look so pretty oh, my goodness um, and the item number is DA326 and okay so that's it for the Americana I put these back in their boxes or in the box for right now uh, the next item that I'm going to show you guys is curb appeal paint um, and this is for outdoor use which pretty much means is weather resistant um, and things of that nature so it has a high durability um, and I ordered these because I couldn't find the same colors more or less in the large Americana so I got these in the curb appeal so we're gonna test these out hopefully I'll achieve the same or similar result to what I'm looking for but this is more or less for painting like outdoor things okay um, but as they say, you can use any kind of paint when you're doing acrylic pores. So let's see if that's true. <laughs> and this is a fast drying, um, fade resistant. Okay. Um, and pretty much it gives you the directions right there. It's what it is. And this is ADCA20. So ADCA20. And the color is violet. From the curb pills, I also got um, blue. Harbor blue. Harbor blue. That's the color. Harbor blue. Super pretty color, you guys. Super vibrant. Um, and it's ADCA15 for the harbor blue. Absolutely gorgeous color. And then I got this large one in black. Um, and this is colonial black. And this is ADCA01. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of, um, I'm going to be painting some indoor, uh, like, the doors to like my cabinets and stuff like that I want to do a project with those as well so that'll be coming up you know sometime in the very near future and I got a beautiful stencil that I'm going to be using to create that so this is going to pretty much help me both ways uh, to do that as well so I will be sharing that project once I get that going um, let's see some of the smaller paints so in the smaller bottles I just got black and white Okay, the white one is called Snow or Titanium White, and it's DA01. DA01. Now, again, I'll leave this information down below. This is the 8 ounce. And then the black, which is Lamp or Ebony Black, um, DA067 is the number. DA067. And I got two and two just because I couldn't find them in a larger size. Um, the way that they're uh, ordering lists is created sometimes it's a little difficult to find um, 
I wouldn't say that it's a little difficult, but there's just so much, so many different products in there that sometimes it's just, for me, um, seeing so many different wording and numbers and this and that can be a little bit much. Um, so I also got some metallics, you guys. Super, super excited about this. And the metallics that I got are called Elegant Finish uh, Metallic Paint. This is Rich Espresso. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous color. And this is more or less the same color as um, the metallic wax, um, the metallic luster wax that I have. It, co it goes by the same number, um, the same name of uh, Rich Espresso. And this item number is DA245. And this is a 10 fluid ounce. So I got this color. And the metallic, I also got. Um, what is this color called? Shimmering silver. So yeah, the number, the names are the same names of their metallic waxes. Um, these are just the liquid forms. I'm gonna say, super super gorgeous colors. And this is shimmering silver, and the number is DA zero seven zero. So DA zero seven zero, and that's shimmering silver. I also got Emperor's gold, which is a uh, more orangey kind of gold um, so I'm super excited about this, this is a, a lot more uh, bold in that way so super excited about using that and the item number is DA148 again these come in 10 ounce uh, containers and I got one more for you guys and this is glorious gold and it came in a little packaging Just open up this plastic. Um, so glorious gold. So if you guys can see just the boldness of the two golds. This is the emperor's gold right here. This is the glorious gold. Um, both equally beautiful. This one's a lot more vibrant. So it depends on what you're trying to create and how much um, boldness you need in your creation. Um, and the item number for this is DA071. So these are um, my my paints for the metallics that I got from them and um, it's pretty much used for home decoration mostly but you can apply it as in with most of their paints you can use it pretty much on any kind of surface um, any kind of substrate you can more or less use it so super super awesome and cannot wait to play with these uh, in my acrylic pores That, way. that one that way um let's see here oh yes i also got glamorous um glamour dust from them and this is a really really fine super super shimmery um glitter okay uh that i plan to you know just add my little trails of glitter here and there wherever possible um and it's just a sprinkle on glitter it's just really really fine and it's um the color is crystal for this and the item number is DAS37 okay I got one metallic luster from them which is a color that I did not um, I didn't have and haven't tried so I'm really excited about trying this especially to like add to my edges and things like that um, I love their metallic uh, luster waxes you guys have seen me use them in so many ways I've used them as watercolor I've used them uh, like using them like dry brush I've used them pretty much for almost anything and almost on everything absolutely love it um, and this color is rose gold um, and the item number is ML15 and the letter C like Carmen um, and it's an absolutely awesome awesome product let's go ahead and open this baby up let's see just how beautiful Color is this um looks like a like like a little bit brown like a like a little bit more tan than I expected it to be but um either way we'll see how it is once it gets applied um it's definitely super shimmery I love their waxes absolutely awesome products um, and let's see what else do we have oh yes we have some stencils you guys Ooh, we have some stencils so this um, stencil right here is from their Americana line and it's actually a reusable stencil which I was surprised to see 
and um, super cute. It's got different faces that you can give to it. So it's got these two faces. Well, actually, it's got three complete uh, faces that you can add to it. It's also got a moon and some stars. So love it. This is a 10 by 10. Pretty much it gives you some information about cleaning and stuff like that. This item number is ASMM117. So if you're into owls and you want an awesome stencil, this might be the ticket for you. Um, so the next one on the list is this other Americana stencil. Again, another reusable adhesive stencil. And this is called Aloe Vera. Absolutely awesome. Super gorgeous. I cannot wait uh, to play with it. These are some of the projects that they have done. Some little cute banners with it. Um, again, another 10 by 10 stencil. And the item number for this is ASMM115 you guys so if you're into those kinds of plants or if you're looking for something like this and definitely something that's large and reusable check it out so let's see here on the list we also have some Andy Skinner stencils um, as you guys some of you might know some of you may not um, he does very steampunk ish um, style very vintagey kind of stencils absolutely awesome collection of stencils um, Andy Skinner has um, so this is part of their mixed media stencils, okay? And some of you guys might have seen these stencils already. I know that these are very popular. Um, and this is an 8x8, and it's called Made to Measure. And it looks like that. It's got, like, numbers. Um, it's got this awesome clock face. And it's got a face in the inside. It's got a little man with a top hat on the inside. Looks like uh, Colonel Sanders or something like that. Super, super cool. Then it's got a little unit of measure here in the bottom. And the number 13 and also got pounds here so super cool definitely can't wait to play with this um and it's andy 103 so andy with a y 103 uh the other one is called industrial elements and it's got like all different wordings like travel again a, a lot of uh dealing with a, a lot of numbers here um, this is uh, travel, journey, caution, by airmail, oil pressure. Um, it's got a lot of different numbers. It's got tickets, steam, and an arrow. Super, super cool. Definitely awesome for like sh um, shabby, or not shabby, I'm sorry, uh, vintage or steampunk um, type of crafts or projects, art journaling, you know, different kinds of things like that. So I got these two from the Andy Skinner line. Um, I, this is a new thing that I've never really seen on Decor, so these are new. Uh, as part of their value craft um, stencils. These, I think, are made of cardboard. I'm going to go ahead and check this out real quick. Um, and this is a Christmas one, and it's actually called Christmas. And it's got this beautiful Christmas tree. And then it says, Joy to the World. Um, it's uh, It brings two 8x8. Eight eight. But these are not um, vinyl or reusable in that way. I mean, you can reuse them. You just have to really take care of them. But they're made of uh, chipboard. These are chipboard stencils. Look at this beautiful tree. I mean, you can literally trace these, or you can, um, you know, use a dry brush technique uh, to stencil these in. Um, if you're gonna be using like heavy, uh, you know, like modeling paints and stuff like that, you might want to reconsider that thought, or be careful with that, um, or not use too much of it because it's gonna be hard for you to clean this off because it is. A chipboard um, and not something that you can just you know burn under your water and clean out so this is the other one this is joy to the world really really cute though overall super super cute stencils so I'll be excited to play with these and I'll let you guys know what I think about them once I've actually played with them um, once I've got to use them I'll let you know I didn't even notice that they were, um, you know, made of paper. <laughs> well, I'll put so, you guys, this is um, the next stencil that I'm going to share with you guys. This is from their Americana Decor. This is an 18 by 18 stencil. Okay. Um, absolutely humongous. 
Uh, this is used mainly for decorating like walls and furnitures and things of that nature. I'm planning on using this on my kitchen cabinets. So I'm going to be making a video share of what they look like before and then what they look like after once I've done all the stenciling and everything. Um, that's going to be quite a project that I'm going to be getting myself into. But I look forward to using this. Um, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this is what the stencil itself looks like. I mean, it's got beautiful, beautiful detail. And this is... Uh, an example of one of the projects that was made with it they decorated this table I mean it's a beautiful center and then they added some of it on this chair I mean it's absolutely gorgeous you can also you know put them on a canvas I mean there's many things that you can do you would need a really really large canvas but I'm sure that um I mean you can pretty much use this on anything anything that uh, you know will fit the size and even if you wanted to use it for like smaller projects but um yeah, you'll probably want to cut this up if you're going to use it like on smaller projects just because it's kind of big to put over your, your journals and stuff like that. But um, yeah, this is one big mama jamma. So, all right, you guys. So, this is called Floor Medallion. Absolutely gorgeous stencil, 18 by 18 inches. If you're looking to do some home decor, you might want to check out their stencil section. They have really beautiful large stencils. This is ADS. 414 uh, definitely check that out so that's it for my um, deco art share you guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do be on the lookout for the videos that are going to be coming out with the acrylic pores and us pretty much testing we're total beginners so we're going to be having a lot of fun most likely making some mistakes along the way but hopefully also learning and being able to share with you guys from our experience um, and you know hope you guys not to make them <laughs> so that's all we can say for now but thank you so much for watching I will also leave a link to my challenge that I have going on right now is a challenge giveaway I'm celebrating my 2500 um, subscribers so thank you all so much for watching leave your comments down below I would love to hear what you guys think about these products let me know if there's um, anything re re in relation to acrylic pouring that you either would like to know um, or would like for me to try to recreate or you know let me know what you guys think about it if you know about it just give me your feedback down below thanks so much for watching and I will catch you all on the next one bye